Periodic functions are very common in the real world. Here I attached a picture of the waves coming in and out and a ferris wheel. What these functions are, are functions that repeat the same shape over and over forever. So when the waves come in and out, it repeats that same cycle up and down, on and on, forever and ever. And the reason we're talking about these functions is because the trigonometric functions sine and cosine are two examples of periodic functions. So before we get into graphing sine and cosine, we want to talk about what's a period and what's the amplitude of a function. So periodic, the period's very important. The period is the horizontal length of one full cycle. So notice in my example down here at the bottom, I have this wave that keeps going on and on forever. It starts right here at the top and it repeats that same shape. Okay, notice how it's kind of making a smiley face. So here the period's highlighted in blue, it starts right here at my dot and then it makes a smiley face and then it ends. Okay, and then it repeats forever and ever. So the period would be how far the distance is from where it starts to where it ends. The amplitude, now that's the distance from the graph to the x-axis. So here I don't have an axis labeled, but we can still get an idea of what the amplitude is. So here, if my dotted yellow line represents the x-axis, it's the distance from here all the way up to where the function makes its maximum height, and then same distance from the x-axis down to where the function makes its minimum height. So period and amplitude, those are two important vocab words. In our first example, we want to determine, is this function periodic? And if it is periodic, determine the period. So let's see, let's trace the pattern, see if we notice anything. I'm gonna start here at the end. So it starts at the x-axis, it goes up, down, and then back up. So it ends right here. Notice how it makes this shape that I've highlighted in purple. The reason I know this is periodic is because right where it ended, I can now start and make that same exact shape again, up, down, and back up. See how it makes the same shape twice? That means that yes, this function is periodic. And then the period, well, we want to find how many units did it go. So it started here at negative two, and then it ended over here at zero. So that means that the period is going to be two units, from negative two to zero, from zero to two. So the period repeats every two units. Okay, my next example. Here this function looks kind of funky. So let's see, it starts right here at the x-axis, it does this curve over, down, something like that. So let's see, if this is what I want to compare, can I repeat that same curve over, down, and back up? No, I can't. So even though it looks symmetric, or not even symmetric, maybe that's been rotated, it's not periodic because for it to be periodic, it has to repeat that same shape with the curve over, down, over, and notice that it doesn't. So here the answer is no, not periodic.